Hey guys, it's Thelma. I'm bringing you a what's in my bag video that I haven't done in probably five months. But I wanted to show you this cute bag that I thrifted and I have showed it to you in a haul, but you didn't get a very good look at it. Uh, it's a Lucky Brand bag and I can't hardly keep Lucky Brand. Uh, once I find them, I'll list them. And I really wanted to keep this one because it's, it's very much like a Halloween theme. I really like the velvet design uh, the graphic on here it's sort of a paisley and it's got purple and orange and it's just really really interesting to me and because of that orange and purple it just totally reminds me of Halloween so I'm gonna wear it all month and then I'll probably change bags really soon I also love the silhouette of this bag this bag looks great when you put it on a lot of times a bag will look fabulous until you start using it and then it's like why does it do that? Why is it that shape? I don't like the way it looks. Or you put it down and it collapses and the straps go here or there. And this bag looks pretty when it's sitting. It looks pretty when it's on your shoulder. It's just got a really cute silhouette. I love it. And it's a very soft velvet. Very, very finely made. It's all leather trim here. Leather panel at the bottom. It's got black studs, metal studs, and then it's got your brass hardware at the rivets. It's also got sort of a buckle design on the straps. The straps are leather as well, and they're trimmed in cotton or bonded with cotton at the bottom. It's got a really nice exaggerated zipper up in the front here at the top. And um, this was thrifted at a store that I rarely go to because I rarely go to that side of town, but I was there and uh, spotted that thrift store, and then I went in. $4.54 is what I paid for this Lucky Brand bag, and it was brand new. You could see that it was never used. There was a flaw on it, and that was that it was coming unstitched in one corner of the zipper. But the zipper is stitched to fabric, so that was no problem. I pulled out the embroidery floss, and we were done. This bag is really cute because I also like the inside. It's a black cotton lining. It's got a huge pocket, like a catch-all pocket, where I put like my checkbook and you know just stuff that I need immediately. And then on this side we have the zipper pocket, and it's got the logo uh, label there in leather. Zipper is also trimmed in leather, and it's got a nice big zipper pull. So let's get started with the bag and what's in it. I have the little pouch that I showed you and what's in my Louie, and this one just has uh, all my silver silver and beige colored uh, bobby pins that I use when I need to put my hair up when it's getting on my nerves and I finally have to get it up. Alright, then I have this polka dot bag and I house all of my gift cards, my loyalty cards, this is my Walgreens loyalty card, things that I don't use on a daily basis but uh, they're all in one little place. Love to have that. This is the Maggie B that I showed you in several videos already uh, because it carries two um, I'm actually going to put these in so I don't forget them. It houses two um, glasses. Oh, I already have some in there. Okay, so now I have a lot of spares. I have a lot of spare readers. And, um, and I also have a collection of sunglasses. And um, I have a video on that as well. These are my Annie Hall Inspire glasses. Very 1988. But I totally love them. They're super dark. They're tortoise shell. And uh, I just think they're flattering on everyone, especially me. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I like them, though. Then I have a coin purse that I found at the thrift store as well. And I'm putting my coin. I hardly carry a coin purse, but I bought this really nice wallet. And I don't want to put the coins in it. I feel like it weighs it down, and I feel like it's going to mess up the beige lining. Then I found this for 99 cents. Uh, it's a leather accordion style pouch bag. I was going to house my iPod, excuse me, my iPhone in there, but I don't part with my iPhone for more than five minutes. Anyway, and then what's in here is a magnifying glass. Don't ever go to the thrift store without one. It helps with hallmarks. I'm a picker as well, so I will look at toys and transformers, Hot Wheels, check their dates check which ones are hot and those are the ones I'm buying to resell. Uh, headphones. I think I have two pairs of headphones in here. Yes, black ones too. Then I have a wet one. I have a receipt that's probably expired, but there it is. I have uh, some kind of mini screwdriver. I don't know why I need a mini screwdriver. But there it is. I have um, still the uh, earplugs that I need occasionally at the clinic when the last scream has finally got to my brain. Uh, what is this? Uh, 
fresh now. Oh, another napkin, one of those wet napkins they give you at the restaurant. I have a perfume sample. I think it's Armani's, and I got these at Sephora. I didn't even realize I'm such a, such a, uh, anyway, whatever. I didn't know that the, uh, they give you free samples there if you ask them for it, because every time I ask for one, when the lady at Macy's or somewhere hands me a paper, and I hate to get those paper things. They never smell the way it's going to smell on you. And I'll ask for a real sample, and they look at me like I'm asking for contraband. It's just horrible. So now I'm going to Sephora if I ever want to try a new perfume. Then I got this fabulous little compact that my sister just gave me. It's Dolce & Gabbana. It comes with its own little velvet pouch. And it's a big, thick, wide compact with the double mirror. And... Um, jewel cut here. It says Dolce & Gabbana on it. I really like the fact that it's very lightweight. She gave me another one that was a Gucci and it was extremely heavy and I gave it to my daughter because she loved it too but she didn't mind the weight. She carries a tiny little purse and you know one or, one or two things that are heavy don't bother her. But you put heavy things in this huge purse and boy. Anyway okay then I have the pouch the little red pouch leather that I found at a thrift store with a heart on it. It houses my crystal rosary that my sweet aunt gave me at my father's funeral. She brought it to me along with a beautiful card, and I've been carrying it ever since. It's been a year, and it just goes from purse to purse. Love this rosary. Love this pouch, too. I think it's the perfect little house for it. Then, sister just gave me this teeny, 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 tiny, mini Chanel um, cosmetic bag. It says Allure something or the other down in here. But I love the mini compact size of it because I don't carry much makeup with me. Uh, once I put it on, it's pretty much, uh, you know, plastered on and it will not come off. I'll just redo the, the lipstick. I love the zipper pull. Check it out. It's like a little compact. Isn't that cute? Can you see the two C's? I just love it. All of their cosmetic bags and little little giveaways that they that they have that have a zipper will have this pull. I'm going to pull one off one day and make earrings out of it. They're so cute. Then I have a just a powder that broke, but I have it in this little, another Chanel pouch that came in one of their palettes. I have the Burt Bees uh, tinted lip gloss, or lip balm rather. I have the Lush, still this Lush. I love this for my hair, for my hands, for my lips. It's just fabulous, and it came in a gift that my daughter gave me. Still have the Lancome palette. I just have it in there in case of an emergency or something because it makes a fabulous um, smoky eye. Really pretty colors on there. And what else? Oh, a lipstick. Brand new lipstick I just got. It's a Kate Moss brand. And it's sort of a strawberry red. It's just so pretty. They were on sale for, I think, half price. And full half price, not buy one, get one half, which I hate. Uh, at uh, Walgreens and this is the Kate Moss brand. I think she puts out two different types of lipstick. This one is really good. I have to go back and get another one. I love the matte finish on it. It does not go anywhere. Really, really nice. Alright, so that's that. Then in the zipper I have nothing because I think I pulled it out. What was it? Wasn't it the, the checkbook? Yeah, I think I had my checkbook in there and God knows where it went. Oh no, here it is. Here's the, it's just the, the checks. Don't even have a wallet for that anymore because I rarely even use it. Then I have another Chanel gloss. This is more of a rusty, glossy color. I really just use this very sparingly on top of another color because it tends to be a little greasy. And, and with the, you know, the way I wear it all day long and drinking beverages all day long, that reminds me, let me take a drink of my Joe here. Before it gets cold. Oh, that's good. My husband's become a coffee aficionado, and he is grinding the beans and everything in. I don't even make coffee anymore. He's just so good at it. And Okay, now the wallet. This is the Hobo Wallet, leather metallic. It's sort of a double magnetic closure there. I really like the fact that, um, that it's got this huge, it's got a little ID thing here, and it's a couple of cards here. I like the zipper, big zipper for this huge deep pocket where you can put your cash. I had never seen a wallet like this till I saw um, a Louis Vuitton review and, and I saw that and I was just so impressed. Of course I'm not going to buy a Louis Vuitton wallet right now, 
But I did find this one for $4, and I love it. Hobo brand, all leather. It's got two compartments, two separate compartments. This one has a pocket and a zipper. And then on this side, it has uh, card slots and more zippers. And this is where I carry the like, department store credit cards that, uh, that I use once in a while. All right, so that appears to be what is in my bag. I really appreciate you guys coming by and looking at this video. Please come back because I'm going to give you some details on the giveaway on the bags because I did find two coach bags yesterday and I want you to see them and I want you to give me your feedback and all of that. So you guys have a great Saturday and I'll see you in a little while. Bye.